طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم um, <coughs> so welcome to the network uh, security class uh, my name is uh, Alexander my name is Amr Muhammad of course I uh, um, I'm the head of department uh, currently and uh, um, I've been in the uh, Qatar University for more than 16 years uh, alhamdulillah before that I did my masters and PhD in Canada in University of British Columbia my original area of expertise actually is networks, but not security. Uh, so uh, um, I'm, I'm specialized in, in, in telecommunication networks, and I taught all types of networking classes in, uh, in, the, in the department. But uh, a couple of years back, we were in shortage of uh, people uh, teaching security uh, you know, uh, subjects, so um, I was, uh, you know, I didn't have the choice yet, but I, I was appointed to teach a security class just to fill the gap. Since then, I've been teaching this class, so this is not the first time. It's, it's like the third time or fourth time, actually. Um, so, um, <clears throat> um, the, uh, so my office actually is the department office. It's uh, in room uh, C333. Uh, um, and this is where the office hour will be. So the office hour will be on, uh, on every Wednesday, just before the class. Uh, so I make it, I usually make it like this to make it convenient for uh, students. Um, so uh, the course uh, description or the Catholic description is that this actually, this network uh, security uh, course, uh, of course, uh, focuses on uh, all security um, uh, aspects uh, related to how to uh, secure the information while it's being communicated, uh, okay? So we, had, uh, we have other courses, like information security, where uh, the course focuses more on how to secure information and data while it's being stored. Um, so we will be focusing on how to secure information while it's being communicated between at least two parties or, in general, in distributed systems. <clears throat> so when we talk about distributed systems and network security, of course, two particular uh, pillars of backgrounds that are needed in this course are networks, of course. So uh, if you did not actually study any networking class before, um, that's going to be an issue. Because in network security, we assume that you have prior knowledge about uh, networking, about the network stack, about the seven layers, and the functionality of each layer, and, and so on. And in fact, in this class, we are going to go through the layers one by one, and then we study the security services and protocols in each of these layers. Uh, and when we talk about uh, layer-based uh, security protocols, we assume that you know the basic functionality, you know the scope, you know the, uh, 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 the limitations of uh, all the protocols, all the, the uh, non-secure protocols in this layer. Uh, okay? Another very important pillar in this course, which is very uh, critical for uh, all hands-on work is programming. So you need to have prior knowledge about uh, programming, and particularly, actually, when we started this course, we, uh, we required uh, programming in MATLAB, but now we switched to Python because everyone is, is trying to do that. So there will be a significant work, you know, on programming, particularly in Python. Okay. So this is, uh, uh, so of course, uh, the course is divided into uh, three uh, parts, and I'm going to uh, talk about uh, what we will study in each of these uh, parts. Um, so the textbook, this is the textbook. Uh, the textbook is by uh, William Stallings, uh, Network Security Essentials, Applications and Standards. Um, we'll focus on the sixth edition. Uh, of, of, of the book. In addition to some, of course, um, references that I will uh, post on, uh, on Blackboard, particularly related to any reading assignments, and we will have reading assignments as I will uh, brief you in a minute. So the uh, course learning outcomes, um, basically, first we understand and analyze network security essential. So basically, the first part of the course, we will focus on basic concepts. And uh, one thing that, uh, one, one challenge that we have in this course is that, uh, from my initial observation, is that I know that some of you are going through the dual degree, which means that you have 
uh, at least come across uh, applied crypto or any kind of security class before network security. Uh, that's a challenge because, uh, you know, there is, uh, there are uh, other students who have absolutely no background probably. Uh, uh, they did not go through any security uh, course before. How many of you, by the way, did not take any security course here in the department as part of the studies? Okay. I, I didn't take a course, but I do it in my work here. Right. Okay. Okay. How many of you are not part of the dual degree? Okay. Yeah. I am in PhD. This is yeah, PhD is not, yeah you, yeah, you are not, by default, you're not part of the dual degree. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm talking about. So uh, it's a little bit of a challenge to try to tailor the, uh, you know, the course to the different backgrounds. Um, um, so we will have the first part of the, uh, of the course, of course, we will talk about general concepts. Uh, so we'll go through some terminologies uh, which are essential for the remaining part of the course. So, um, so be careful, even if you have gone through other uh, courses in security, we need to agree on some of these definitions. And if it's slightly different, pay attention to the differences and try to stick to whatever we discuss here. So in general, the rule is anything that we, dis that we discuss in class, you have to note, even if it's not part of the book, okay? And anything that we do not discuss, even if it's part of the book, you're not required to, you know, at least for the exam, of course, you, you are welcome to uh, go through any material, okay? So uh, basically, the way we divide the course is like the first, the first part in the book, the book actually divides... Uh, the, the security uh, services and techniques into uh, three different parts. Uh, part zero talks about, again, the basic, um, basic concepts. Part one talks about security techniques and mechanisms, and we'll go through that. If, chances are if you have gone through some applied crypto course, you have already, uh, you are familiar at least with some of the techniques that we will talk about in, 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 in the class. But we will have to uh, cover uh, these techniques and mechanisms, at least for people who, who don't know it. And again, I mean, any kind of differences, you are required to know these differences and stick with whatever terminologies and things that we discuss in class. So this is part zero. So part zero will focus on the basic concepts, okay? Basic concepts, just basic concepts. Then part one and two, okay? Uh, this talks about the techniques and the security services uh, that uh, 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 we will have to discuss as part of this. So basically the techniques and, and, and mechanisms uh, includes all the crypto uh, um, uh, algorithms, uh, some of which we will have to also uh, give you some ba slight background about uh, discrete mathematics, for example, because you need to understand these things in order to uh, capture the uh, the essence of these algorithms. Um, <clears throat> uh, so, like um, uh, symmetric cryptography, uh, public cryptography, things like that. And we'll try to go as as fast as possible. Uh, you know, assuming that some of you you need this background, some of you you don't need this background. So we'll have to we'll have to to do some compromises in this aspect. Uh, part two covers the security protocols and services, and we'll talk about the differences between mechanisms or uh, protocols and services. So when it comes to protocols and services, we will have to divide these protocols and services based on the different layers. And we'll go through you know, each layer, like for example, network access layer. We'll talk about uh, services and pro security services and protocols in the network access layer, and then in the, in, the, in the routing layer, and then in the transport layer, and then all the way to the application layer. So we'll, we'll do it this way. Okay, uh, and the book, by the way, does not go uh, layer by layer like this exactly, but we will try to give you the context and go layer by layer just to make the picture clear in your mind. Okay, so um, I will show you the topics and I will show you where we might actually jump a little bit just to, uh, 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 to go layer by layer and, and make the context clear in your mind. Those two learning outcomes are related to the hands-on work, okay? So, uh, uh, um, so we will uh, have to go through uh, some tools, some software, some programming, 
um, as part of the assignment, as well as uh, the uh, course project. And we'll talk about this in a minute. Okay. So these are the, th this actually focuses on the tools and the programming uh, aspects that we will have to uh, work on. And of course, the course project, which clearly has to be uh, group-based. Um, in some cases, we have low numbers, so we make it individual. But of course, uh, for uh, the class here, we'll have to make it uh, group-based. So I actually posted already, some of you might have noticed, I posted on Blackboard already the first assignment. The first assignment is actually posted on Blackboard. Um, so in two weeks, you are required to uh, you know, find another uh, partner and uh, uh, submit like a proposal for uh, the course project. At least the topic. You don't have to actually you know, uh, have the details, but at least you have to think about high level what the topic you are uh, going to, what's the topic you are trying to focus on. And uh, you know, a set of objectives and deliverables. It's like a one-page thing, okay? Because just uh, as we are discussing the syllabus now, in in few minutes we'll have to seal it, and this will be the contract for the remaining part of the course. Also, we have to do that for the course uh, project proposal. For the proposal, once we agree on the topic, we agree on the uh, scope, okay? That will be you know agreed upon, and and then you can start working. Uh, right away, okay? Um, so we'll talk about the details of this, okay? Um, so uh, this part is related to uh, EBIT, and we don't have EBIT uh, anyway. So uh, so as I said, this is, this is actually, uh, this is part zero. So chapter one in the book is actually, as, is part of part zero, okay? The book has chapters, but also has uh, three major parts. So the, 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 or actually four major parts. Um, the part, this is part zero, okay? And then uh, starting from uh, symmetric cryptography all the way, yeah, here, those two is actually part one. So uh, these uh, three chapters, they talk about basically the, uh, the security techniques and mechanisms. Um, and here we'll discuss the symmetric and public key cryptography. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about some authentication mechanisms, okay? So starting from here all the way to here, this is actually part two, okay? So part two, we'll go through the layers one by one. So we'll start with the network access layer. We, we, have, we, we probably have to go through wireless because wireless, as we all know, is part of the network access uh, layer. Uh, but instead of having like Ethernet cable, we use wireless, wireless environment. But wireless actually is uh, layer two or layer, you know, one and two. Okay. So we'll we'll jump from after like we cover uh, chapter five and six. We'll jump into uh, chapter uh, nine and ten to cover the uh, network security. Then after that, we'll go to the the IP. Of course, IP security is part of the network layer. So we'll try to go like from bottom up. Okay. And then after that, we'll have to go to transport layer. Okay. So we'll discuss TLS and SSL and uh, SSH and, and these uh, uh, security protocols and services. And then uh, eventually we'll uh, have to uh, go through the application layer. Okay. This is part three. Okay. So I'm trying to align these parts with the book. So part three is not layer-based. So there is like system-level security, uh, particularly when you talk about intrusion detection. Intrusion detection talks about uh, you know, mitigating any kind of intrusion or any kind of attack on different parts of the system. It's not layer-specific, layer okay? So any device, any information, hard disk, things like that. So it's an intrusion to any part of the system, so it's not, uh, it's agnostic to uh, any of the uh, layers. So this is actually uh, chapter uh, 12, and this is the uh, final one. So these are uh, the topics. Okay, any question? So we'll have to do a couple of jumps, but yeah, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know exactly how we do this jump, and uh, uh, so that it would be clear, yeah. 
Okay. Like, yeah, uh, assessments. This is usually uh, the best part of the, or the most important part of any uh, course. So let's just make it big. So assignments. Uh, so as usual, assignments for graduate courses usually have uh, significant weight. Um, <clears throat> in network security, we'll divide the assignments into um, actually three different categories of assignments. So um, we have one category of assignments that uh, focuses on uh, reading technical papers. Uh, papers. Okay, so we'll have one or two assignments um, that in which I will give you a paper, a technical paper, not a survey. Okay, usually a technical paper. Uh, and I will ask you to summarize the paper. But يعني, uh, we know the implications of chat GPT and everything. So we'll, we'll try to tailor that to um, specific questions. So I'll give you some specific questions and ask you to, uh, to, to give a brief discussion to answer this question based on your understanding of the paper. Okay? Um, so this will allow you to try to practice how to read a technical paper, how to absorb all the technical aspects of this paper and be able to uh, you know, express your understanding through writing this. Um, and, um, um, yani, uh, of course, I cannot force you not to use ChatGPT, but be careful, yani. be careful with this. Do not try to abuse the use of ChatGPT and, uh, and not actually uh, do some effort to really uh, convey your understanding about the paper in, in, in this part. Uh, another category, which is like hands-on uh, work. And uh, for this, usually, I give, it's, a, it's not, I wouldn't call it an assignment, but actually, it's a, it's a, it's a small project. Um, so I will, I will give you a Python code of uh, most of the applied crypto, most of the cryptographic techniques that we will study or will, uh, are included in the course. More importantly, I will ask you to design like a wireless environment where you have uh, you know, a source and destination and you try to use all the encryption algorithms from the source to the destination, okay? Using some specific wireless channel model and uh, study the effect of this on on the transmission of, crypto, of, of encrypted versus non-encrypted uh, traffic. Um, so the, 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 the assignment will, will clarify everything, and then I will give you a code to start from, and hopefully this will make it difficult for uh, those of you who want to use ChatGPT, hopefully, I mean. Um, but I will give you a code to start from, and I will ask you to fill certain gaps, okay? Um, so this assignment is usually, يعني, usually if you go through it genuinely, I think you will benefit a lot. Because this, uh, of course, I made some changes. Uh, يعني, you don't try to get the code from previous years. And يعني, I made some changes to that. So every time I make some changes to the assignment, so be careful. Uh, okay, so because if I notice that you are using code from previous year or something, it's, it's, it's not going to be acceptable at all. يعني, okay? Uh, so this is like a programming assignment. And also, I may actually uh, uh, have uh, another assignment where uh, you will have to go through like a hands-on lab, uh, where you will uh, experiment with, uh, like, for example, TLS uh, service or something. OK? Uh, so this, this lab, I'm still working on it course, as one of the differences uh, this year. The third category is like uh, uh, problems from, from the book. Yeah, and this is usually like I'm preparing you psychologically for the exam. Uh, I'm going to talk about the exam in a minute. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to give you like a, a set of problems directly from the book. I will give it to you, Hatta, even if you don't have the book, I will give it to you, uh, so that you, you try to solve these problems as a preparation for the exam. Okay? Usually, this is the last assignment, because as, you, uh, as I will brief you now, the midterm, it's actually a final, but 
يعني في تحايل شوي يعني I'm calling a, a midterm so just to have like some flexibility with the time. Usually the time is towards the end of the of the course, but before the official final exams. So at this point we will have covered all the topics, okay, and the remaining will be just the exam and the uh, project uh, discussion. I will I will talk about this. Okay, so these are the assignments. Um, Seminar. Uh, in all, all the courses, I, I like uh, really, um, you know, to have seminars delivered by the students. So everyone in the class will have to do a seminar. Okay? In fact, there's one next week. Uh, we need a volunteer for next week. And just to, يعني, عشان نرفع الحرق عن الجميع, يعني, we have, we have a spreadsheet which is posted on Blackboard. Okay? which has, uh, you know, all this, the, the slots of every week. And every week we will have one, or possibly, because of the number, we'll have two. But, but the rule is, the last five weeks, we can have two, uh, we can have two seminars. Other than this, we'll have to fill at least one slot every week. So, and, and usually we try to pick, you know, who is the first one who can volunteer and so on. Uh, but, you know, so the, the spreadsheet is there and it's posted on Blackboard, so you can do, just, you know, fill your name. Actually, the, the, the seminar topic or the title can, can be specified after uh, the lecture. It doesn't have to be now. But uh, at least you put your name in one of these slots, which means that we will, we must have, like, someone to deliver the seminar next week. And for that, I have to give you like some idea about how the seminar is going to be conducted. So I expect every student to prepare at least two technical papers. Okay? Two technical papers. Uh, that talk about any topic related to security. Okay? Uh, these two technical papers will have to be discussed in the seminar. Okay? So at the beginning, uh, preferably, these two, two uh, papers are part of a theme or part of a, any topic. Okay, like for, for example, I want to discuss uh, transport layer security protocol. So I talk about TLS and SSH, for example. Okay, and I, I download like two technical papers that discuss a, a specific algorithm or a contribution related to any transport layer security or any, any, any other topic that you find appropriate. Okay, and again, just to make it easier for you, um, we have the course project, and also the course the course project uh, description is posted on Blackboard, and if you go there, uh, you will find in the course description there are tons of proposed topics that you can select from. So one approach to plan um, this efficiently. I mean, it's, it's just a suggestion, is to say, okay, so I'm going to go through these topics, and I see which topics actually motivates me. And then I, I take this topic, and I try, to <coughs> I try to focus on this topic in the seminar as well as in the course project. So this way, you try to read and read and read about this topic. So hopefully, you will get good level of understanding about this topic as part of the seminar and then later on in the course project. Okay, so you will find tons of topics, uh, and I try to update this list of topics just to take into consideration all the recent trends, including generative AI and all of this stuff. So you, hopefully, you will find some of these topics interesting and motivating to you. Um, so having having a topic for those technical papers will allow you to give a, like a brief introduction to three slides about why this topic is, is good and important. And then you discuss the technical papers one by one. Each one will have, again, three slides, four slides. You explain the approach, you explain the idea of the, you know, the methodology of, of this paper. And then you give some hints about the results, the most important results of each paper. You go like in two papers, so you will have around like 12 slides, something like that. And then at the end, you, you say, like, uh, in conclusion, 
I like to highlight the important stuff in these two papers and the, also the limitations or if there is any gap that you see in, in, in these two papers that uh, might be uh, you know, interesting in any way. Any questions? Any clear? Is it clear? Okay. Hi. It's about, around around fifteen minutes usually. So if you if the presentation is around fifteen minutes and we have like five minutes at the end discussion, so hopefully in these seminars the the the, the idea of these seminars is just. You know, you try to practice because in a few months you will you will be standing here defending your thesis, right? And uh, hopefully this will you know help you to try to practice how to uh, really uh, convey all your ideas and and focus how to focus on methodology, how to focus on uh, you know important aspects about any technical work. And this is, uh, in my in my opinion, this is very very important skill that every um, you know, uh, graduate student has to have. Okay. So midterm, as we said, usually in the very last week or last two weeks, and it's going to have uh, thirty percent. And the course project for the course project. You know, usually, you know, if if we say this is the course project, and uh, I will see you at the end of the course, chances are at the end of the course, we will find you know uh, very minimal. Uh, work done, okay? Uh, therefore, um, we usually try to make this project into phases. Um, so uh, phase, phase uh, zero is the proposal, is the assignment. And you will see the deadline in two weeks. After two weeks, I expect you to have like a small, very abstract uh, definition of what you plan to do as part of the uh, project, the project proposal. Okay. Phase one is the design, the detailed design. And here I expect you to put all the details with the only exception of the results. Um, so you'll have to describe all the scenarios that you are going to uh, implement or work on, the tools that you will have to use. Uh, so all the details related to High level or detailed design, okay, but no results. I mean, not necessarily. Of course, if you have results, by all means. Uh, <clears throat> but um, no, no requirement to have, you know, at least comprehensive results. You may actually put one result just as a proof of concept, just to say that, you know, yes, the scenario that I'm talking about is really practical, and here is like some elementary results, but no results will be coming up. Um, I have to emphasize that. Many students, as part of this course, they publish journal papers as part of this course project. So uh, you try to challenge yourself and try to come up with, you know, like far-fetched objective, um, and try to meet that objective. And uh, usually, after the project, we usually nominate or we usually approach some students and say, okay, so you can take this to the next level and and publish it as you know, a conference paper or journal paper or something. Many, many publications came out of this course project. So you may want to really try to challenge yourself as much as possible. Okay? Of course, phase two is like the final submission. And this is usually in the uh, last two weeks of, uh, of the course. Okay? So we usually, uh, you know, give you some two deadlines. The first deadline is to present your findings. Uh, in the presentation, you will have to, to, to show all the results that you have obtained. And then we'll give you final feedback. Of course, in every uh, step of the way, in every phase, I will have to give you a feedback. Okay? I will have to give you a feedback. Um, and uh, in, in phase two, the feedback would be usually like you did not complete that part, you did not emphasize the results in this, uh, uh, in this important uh, aspect, uh, things like that. So, and then we'll give you, after this presentation, we'll give you a few days, okay, three, four days to submit the report and the presentation altogether. This is the final submission. Okay? Everything is clear? Okay. 
Okay, so uh, so that's it. يعني, uh, I think uh, يعني, hopefully we did not take too much time um, to discuss the uh, uh, the syllabus. So we'll break here for pro- probably um, praying Maghrib 10 minutes or so, and then we'll come back and then we'll we'll go through the first part of the course. So we'll brief uh, basic concepts. Any questions? <laughs>